Hello everybody and thanks for joining me today. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, subtitles, how you can use subtitles and uh, how to effectively change the format or style very relatively quickly. So I've got a little clip here. So uh, what do you eat when you die? Okay, let's have a look. Pizza, eggs, fish and gas. Mm. Okay. My what? All right. So, um, so as you can see, all the subtitles were in the same text, uh, in the same height on the on the picture. So, how is this done? Well, now, unfortunately, if you're adding subtitles to it, there's no auto subtitles because nobody knows what you want to write so you still have to manually write all your text but I will show you what you can do with it afterwards so I'm just going to clear out my timeline uh, and just basically hold down shift and highlight the first and last clip and then that, that clears it up pretty quick right so uh, let's get cracking so anywhere on the screen just double click doesn't matter and then I'm gonna just uh, type something what do you mean he's not the brightest is he what do you mean what do I eat? Uh, and that's it so now it automatic automatically creates a text clip on your text title track and uh, obviously this is where you want it or whatever um, then once you've created your first clip my advice is then to save it uh, and, and save it to a folder that you wish to use. So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use, guess what, my subtitle folder. And then you give it a name, uh, test one, I guess, and uh, save. And now it's going to save it as a UTF file, which basically means useless text file. <laughs> no, just <laughs> kidding. It actually is, it means Unicode transformation format. Wow, I wish they'd just all come up with one file extension instead of having so many out there. It would make life so much easier, wouldn't it? All right, so then, then just continue onto your track, onto your timeline, to where you want your next text. So let's say um, yeah, here, and double click anywhere on the timeline. It really doesn't matter where you click on the preview window. And then just type what uh, you want next. I eat mainly. <laughs> I'm losing it. And uh, just again, once you've done with that, just uh, move your clip to the next part. You can press play, whatever, whatever you know you need to do. Um, and yeah, he's thinking. So. Not sure about what he's doing. So uh, what? Okay, you know that that will do because it's uh, a tutorial uh, how to use the subtitle text and not me <laughs> making subtitles for you. All right. So again, we we will save this once we finish. We'll save it. So test one. Double click again. Yes, replace it, and that's it. Now, um, what you want to do now? Hold down your shift, click the first clip, and your last clip, and then you delete your uh, title track again. Now, you can re-enter that title track. So you go back on your test, click. Now, before you then enter it into your timeline again, this is where you change the look and feel of your text. Uh, so you've got your fonts here, your font size colors. All right, this is the actual text color, and this is your uh, glow shadow. Now, really, glow shadow is uh, your outer line, and you can also have vertical text. Now, if you have more than one track open, like I have, I have two title tracks open, make sure that you choose the right one. So I'm going to go to title track one. I'm going to go to, uh, yeah, ta Tahoma and uh, font size 18, blue, and... Let's make it really terrible. Uh, yellow, yellow outline, and open. 
Yes, I will, because basically now it's telling you that uh, your undo and redo functions uh, will be cleared, so you lose that option. And you say, OK. Now it all goes back into your title text, but now look, see how all your text has changed its format and it's all in the same position on your title right here. See? So, all nice and neat. Now obviously you're thinking, you know what, dude, I can't read your subtitles. Well, you know what, I can change that, so I just redo it. I'm going to click my first and shift my last, delete, because now I have saved it. I don't have to retype it just in case I don't like my fonts. So I might change it now to a white color and have an outline of red. I might change the size to 22. Uh, you know what? It would help if I highlight it, huh? Yeah, so I'm aware of I'm going to undo the redo text thing. And there you go, I've increased it, it's white, and I've got a red uh, uh, outline. What do you mean? It's definitely not the brightest, is it? There you go. So any time uh, you feel that your text is wrong, or the color is wrong, you ha now have the option of deleting it, going back into your folder, changing the attributes, and then re-importing it. Rather than trying to go through each clip and go, all right, you know what, uh, I didn't like the color on this one, so I'm going to change it. Well, that means I've got to change this one. And that means, you know what I mean? So if you've got quite a few of these, you're going to be really, really busy, or you're going to regret that you didn't, ch you didn't pick the color you wanted in the beginning. So there you go, folks. Working with subtitles can be easier if you just save it and... Uh, yeah, that's it. And as always, thanks for watching.